back with another YouTube video after forever. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I recorded a video. Anyways, by the way, um, ignore that. If you see that, ignore it, please. Like, that's my dirty laundry basket, and I don't know where else to put it. Um, so anyways, I'm back. I have braces. Um, long story, this summer has been trash, but, um, I'm back, and I'm making videos although I said I was going to this summer but I will explain it in this video actually because this video is going to be like a mental health check mental health video stuff that can help you and stuff like that stuff that helps me like I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to help you or anything but maybe it might I don't know um and I think that's pretty much the whole explanation of this video. Sorry if my list gets really bad when I talk too much. It sounds so gross. Um, just letting you guys know. Um, and that's that's pretty much the, the gist of this video. And um, yeah, let's get started. So if you are a returning subscriber, subscriber, sub subscriber, oh my god, I can't talk. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, you may be like, oh my god, where have you been for the past four months? And I'm gonna be like, hey, procrastinating, doing nothing with my life, and um, sleeping, and then waking up, and then staying up until four, and then doing a whole routine again. But, um, hey, I'm back. Hello, if you're a new subscriber, um, hi, or a potential new subscriber, hi, I hope this is not like a bad impression, and, um, hi. Um, anyways, I have been, like, gone just because I've been procrastinating, also because mentally I have not been there. Like, honestly, if we're being truthful right now, I know I say this in every intro to my video, like, mentally I'm not there, like, I don't know, like, I, I seriously mean it, like, I have not been there, like, up here lately, um, just because, like, everything has just been so weird and going extremely fast, and, like, I don't know, um, like, I get like these waves of sadness like it comes from nowhere and it's really like weird like these little waves of depression like an existential crisis kind of thing um which I'm currently going through like you know I, I don't really know how to explain it so I'm not going to but um like that's that's been happening a lot and I don't like to record when I'm upset because like I don't want to fake an attitude you know like fake being happy on you know my channel or anything like that because it's it's pretty depressing um but um that's that's where i've been that's a little update segment like on you know everything like that i'll make sure to put at the end like i'll be coming back to youtube um i'm already back but like you know i'll be making more videos hopefully um also as you can see quality changed from my last video i got a new phone anyways besides the point i keep like distracting myself from the main topic of this video um and i'm pretty sure this segment has already ended like my update thing or whatever so yeah um recently like i got into like just because i have like i've been saying like i have not been there like i've been journaling out my feelings at night which is like the best thing i could have ever thought of like i didn't get that off like the web or anything but i'm pretty sure people do that but like um i started journaling like my daily thoughts and stuff like that at night you know just so i can go to bed without like you know a cluttered mind um i still go to bed like extremely late at like four o'clock in the morning but like you know when i go to sleep i feel like a whole weight off my shoulder um i like journal about how i feel and like what i want to do in life and everything like that like basically my feelings and like what has been recently going on in my life um so like journaling is really good sorry if you see my loofah also i don't even know why i have it hanging up i have it hanging up because i don't keep it in the bathroom anyways um like, I've been journaling how I've been feeling and everything like that, and it's been so, like, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, and I think that's a really awesome way to, you know, um, like, how do I explain this, like, 
like get a weight taken off your shoulders like if you're feeling upset if you're feeling sad if you're feeling happy if you're feeling whatever whatever mood you're feeling in like journal it down and like if you're going through something like that again you can read what you have journaled down and you know learn how to deal with it learn how to cope with it and everything like that so that's what i've been doing recently and um it's been like maybe about like i don't want to say a week but near a week and it's been going really good like i feel like relieved now i feel like super productive and like less upset than i was like i'm still i'm still pretty upset but like i feel less upset you know like um i feel like i'm just rambling now but like i feel less less sad you know just because i'm getting all of my emotion and all my energy out in like writing but if you don't want to write then you can like like um sometimes i do it on my voice notes i know it's been like a week but um i voice noted out just because i can't you know figure out words that quickly and then like write it down so i do like voice notes and everything like that um if i'm away from a journal i do it on the notes on my phone and like that's that's basically how like i've been been coping lately like by journaling my feelings down and like it may be a big help i don't really know but it helps me a lot and uh i'll probably update you guys on this like sooner like maybe when it hits like two months of me like journaling my feelings down and how i've been feeling and blah, blah blah like stuff like that so um that's that's one way how i cope with it so yeah. another way that i have been like uh like how do i explain this like coping coping with you know my problem is that um I don't want to sit like because half of the stuff might not even like help you guys but like I wanted to make a video on how I've been mentally and how I've been like caring for myself mentally is um doing things that you put your mind to like you know like like having a list or something like that like being productive and kind of getting everything off of your mind is also a really good thing recently i just finished driver's ed like last night by the way um i just finished driver's ed and i've been wanting to do that for a really really long time and like i like i feel a weight off my shoulder that's the only way that i can really describe it is that like i feel a weight off of my shoulders and like that's something that i've been wanting to do for such a long time and i i finally finished driver's ed so now i can get my license um although i'm 17 and a half so i'm pretty sure i can just walk in there and be like hey what's up um here to, here to get my permit here to get my license um but like um that's like what i've been doing like um like finishing small little tasks that i've been wanting to finish like i said i wanted a full-length mirror i got a full-length mirror i said i've been wanting to make a video i'm making a video hi um i said that like i put small things to mind and then I go accomplish that so that kind of helps me like feel a little better and like not to say that it's gonna help you too but like you know it helps me a lot and um that's how I like you know feel better mentally I keep putting my arms up because I don't want to show that or that um but um yeah I think that's like setting small goals for yourself to accomplish in like a day or something like that like I want to drink a whole gallon of water in a day you can do that you guys just gotta put your mind to it and and make it happen and maybe it'll help out you know you can be like hey I want to work out you can do that you know if it makes you feel better mentally and that's what I do and um, I don't really know where I was going with this like talking about you know this whole idea of like finishing small tasks to make you happy like not make you happy but make you um make you feel productive i guess i don't even know where i'm going with talking about this so i'm probably just gonna cut the video off here so this is probably going to be like the last couple of this video just because like i don't know what else to say and these are the things that have been helping me recently but if i find something else that also helps me then i will like incorporate it into another video like this if you guys want one if i'm not being too jumbled in this one anyways um Another thing that I found out, like, that has been helping me has been, like, you know, finding an, like, a creative outlet, like, an emotional outlet that you can, like, get all your emotions out with, like, um, singing, 
acting, photography, writing, stuff like that. Like, um, something that, you know, you can get your emotions out with. I'm pretty sure, like, this is probably going to be a short clip because that's, like, all of that is has need to be said. Like, you can find something to do and get your emotions out with, you know, like, writing a poem, writing a song, singing, rapping, painting, like I said, photography, like, it's, it's pretty, um, self-explanatory when I say that, so, like, if you find something that, you know, you're like, hey, I don't feel this way anymore, and this is helping me, like, you know, I write a lot, and I sing a lot, and I write music a lot, and I, I recently got into, like, fashion and design and like I've been into photography but like I'm getting more into photography so like um like that like doing stuff like that I find that it really helps and like um just like a, a creative emotional outlet is what I'm trying to say here and I don't want to like keep reiterating myself because it's pretty self-explanatory like I just said so th I that's that's pretty much it um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't too like jumbled for you and like you could understand what I was saying through my lisp or anything um I hope that you can kind of like imply so is that the right word I think it is like you know use some of these in your daily life and like I'm not saying that this is gonna like help you and make you happier within like 24 hours because like honestly it doesn't um I hope that you can like you know and put some of this stuff into your life and it could help you out if it doesn't like I'm not saying that it's going to but like I I hope that some of the stuff that I say kind of connects to you and you're like hey maybe I can do this but um that was pretty much the whole video it was a very last minute idea that's why I kept like jumbling all over the place with my ums and uhs but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe comment if you do subscribe please turn on that little bell icon so you get notified when I post when I post um if I do post if I do post let's be real here because I'm like super inconsistent and I don't mean to be I just am Anyways, that's pretty much the whole video, and yeah, so peace, love, and kisses.